Hi everyone, this is Virendra from iDeserve. Today I am going to talk about the subset sum problem. So the problem statement for this is detecting if a subset from a given set of n non-negative integers sums up to a given value s. Okay. So for example, if we have been given a set like this 1, 3, 9, 2, we want to find out a subset of this set which sums up to 5. Okay. And say if this set contains that kind of subset or not. Okay. So the output for this will be true because this contains a subset of 3, 2 which sums, sums up to 5. Right. So the brute force approach for this is to check all the subsets. But that would lead to exponential time complexity. Right. Another approach for this is using dynamic programming. Okay. And uh, the co time complexity using dynamic programming leads to pseudo polynomial. Okay. Please check the wiki for understanding what this type of time complexity means. Okay. I'll create another video for explaining this particular kind of a time complexity. Okay. Let's go ahead with the problem solving using the dynamic program. So in this solution, we have a matrix, obviously. The only question is what do these columns and the rows represent? The columns represent the values leading up to the target sum, which is five and the rows represent the values in the given set. Okay. So in the given set, we have, 1, 3, 9, 2, and we also add one more value here, 0, which re represents an empty set. Okay. Now, if we have a target sum of 0, if we start with this, what is a subset, what kind of a subset of this particular set will add up to 0? An empty set can add up to 0, right? So, even if we consider 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 3, or 0, 1, 3, 9, 2, all of these subsets of this particular set will have an empty set which is their own subset okay so that particular empty set will add up to zero okay so what what are the truth values for these cells in that mat in in that case true right so all of these kinds of subsets will have an empty set as its own subset right so all of them will add up to zero that's why we have true here for all the cells here okay but what if we have only an empty set okay can that empty set add up to any of the values here i don't think so so we have false for each and every target sum value leading up to five so the basic concept here is filling up this particular table okay and finding out the truth value at this particular point which represents if there is any subset which can add up to 5 that is the meaning of this last cell here and that will be our output okay we are expecting true here because there is a subset of 3 2 which add up which adds up to 5 okay let's start filling up the table but before that I'll try to explain what we mean by walking through the table so let's consider the first element here 1 okay so when we are looking at this element we are considering this particular subset of the whole set okay and we are trying to find out if there are any subsets in this particular set that is 0 1 which add up to each of these target sum values okay and we we keep adding one element at each step when we complete filling up the row and when we look at 3 we are considering the whole set 0 1 3 okay so we try to find if there is a subset which adds up to each of these values here okay similarly for 9 okay similarly for 2 okay so let's go ahead with the first element which is 1 and the target sum 1 we are considering this set 0 1 here the procedure is to find out if by removing this particular element from this set 0 1 can we add up to 1 so can 0 add up to 1 where can you get the truth value of that you can get the tr truth value from here right so we know that it cannot be achieved using only element 0 okay so we take this truth value from here and what we do is we subtract this particular new element from the target sum so when we subtract it from the target sum what what we have left is 0 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so can 0 be achieved using the remaining subset after excluding 1 Yes, 0 can be achieved, right? Where do we know that? We know that here, okay? That is true. So when we OR these two truth values, we get true here, okay? 
so the whole set 0 1 has a subset which can add up to 1 which is 1 okay so we follow the similar procedure for each and every target sum till 5 we go to 2 can 2 be achieved using the only the subset of 0 no right but still we take that particular truth value and after doing that what we do is we subtract 1 from 2 what we have let left is 1 can 1 be made up from the remaining subset no right what where do we know that we know that here so 2 cannot be achieved using this set okay similarly for 3 similarly for 4 and 5 let's go ahead by adding one more element in the set which is 3 so now we have a set of 0 1 3 can 1 be achieved from any of the subsets of 0 1 3 yes right where do we know that we know that from here so after excluding 3 we have what we have left is 0 1 okay so we are reusing the solution for 0 1 from here okay and we forward that truth value here okay can we subtract 3 from 1 no right so whatever truth value we have here we are using it we go ahead to 2 same is the case 3 cannot be subtracted from 2 can 2 be achieved from uh, the remaining subset which is 0 1 no right we know the truth value here it cannot be achieved so we forward it here let's go go ahead we see 3 can 3 be achieved by excluding 3 from 0 1 3 uh, we, we know that from here we forward the value false but can 3 be ex subtracted from 3 yes right so what do we get 0 by subtracting 3 from 3 and we take the truth value of 0 from here because 0 can be achieved from the remaining elements in the set which is 0 1 right so the after ordering these two truth values we know that 3 can be achieved from 0 1 3 okay we follow the same procedure for 4 4 minus 3 is 1 1 can be achieved from the remaining subset remaining subset 0 1 and the 4, 4 and the target sum can 4 can be achieved from 0 1 3 right similarly for 5 5 cannot be achieved similarly for 9 we just forward the truth values and see if it can be subtracted the element can be subtracted if not we just use the previous truth values okay let's go ahead for the element 2 so now we are considering the whole set but we have done all the computations for the subset 0 1 3 9 so by just adding 2 we are seeing if we can achieve any of these particular uh, target sums okay can 1 be achieved yes we take the truth value from the above can 2 be achieved we take the truth value from above we see that it is false and then we see we try and then we try to subtract 2 from 2 we see that it can be subtracted we get 0 can 0 be achieved from the remaining elements yes it can be achieved right so we have a truth value of true okay how about 3 similarly 3 can be achieved from both ways by using 2 or using any of the subset here okay how about 4 4 can be achieved how about 5 5 minus 2 is 3 right so 3 can 3 be achieved yes 3, be, 3 can be achieved right it is true so finally we have our output as true for this question of having a subset from this set which adds up to 5 that's what we expected right okay so let's quickly go through the code and we are done with it in this code so initially we define a boolean table where on the on the rows we have the input values okay we have a plus one because we also include an empty set and and we also have the values column values are leading up to the sum okay so these are the two base cases first base case is if the subset is empty we can't sum up to the target right so we update them as false the second one is if the target is zero we can use an empty set so that is updated as true okay so this procedure is basically uh, copying the value from above it's basically excluding the current element and checking if uh, after excluding the current element can we achieve the target sum we copy that particular value and after that if 
if it cannot be formed by excluding that particular element into consideration the ith element into consideration which is ba which basically means false what we do is we subtract we include that uh, element and subtract uh, subtract it from subtract it from the target sum and see if the remaining target sum can be achieved from any of the other elements okay any of the other subsets so that is where we are oring right so we take two truth values and or them okay we keep doing this procedure and finally we have the output at the bottom right corner thank you for watching the video please stay tuned and please do check out our website at www.idsof.co.in it has many more features thank you i'll get back soon with another interesting video thank you